Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, you interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. We are in Form 1, Lesson 23. The topic is Farm Tools and Equipment. And the subtopic, we are on the sixth category of Farm Tools and equipment. Remember, in the, previous, in the previous lessons, we covered the other categories. We started with the garden tools and equipment. Uh, we uh, went to uh, the livestock production tools and equipment. We went uh, also, we covered the workshop tools and equipment. The fourth category was uh, metal uh, work tools and equipment. And the fifth category, which also has, uh, has been covered, uh, was uh, the masonry tools and equipment. And in today's lesson, we are in uh, the sixth category of farm tools and equipment, and that is the plumbing tools and equipment. What are the objectives of this lesson? The, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, explain the various uses of plumbing tools and equipment. And the second one, uh, state the various ways of maintaining uh, plumbing uh, tools and equipment. Uh, the first type of uh, plumbing tools and equipment, we have a pipe cutter. A pipe cutter is the one which is normally used whenever it comes to cutting of PVC pipe, that is polyvinyl chloride pipes. Uh, then we have the hacksaw. On the other hand, the hacksaw is also a plumbing tools and equipment uh, because it is used to cut the metallic uh, pipes uh, uh, whenever you are doing the piping uh, system. And then the, 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 the next one we have the pipe wrench and the pipe wrench is the one which is, uh, you can see it is very uh, adjustable and therefore it is the one which is used for tightening and loosening of nuts and bolts. Then we have adjustable, uh, adjustable Spanner, it can serve the same purpose as the pipe wrench, and therefore it is the one. Uh, it is also used in uh, tightening and loosening of the uh, the, the bolts and nuts. Uh, then we have the pocket tape measure. Yes, it can be used uh, to measure when it comes to measuring of the length of the pipes uh, to be whenever you are connecting or whenever you are doing the piping system. Then we have a uh, shash clamp. Uh, Whenever you are cutting the PVC pipe, that is the polyvinyl uh, chloride pipe, as you can see in this uh, uh, diagram here, uh, you can uh, hold them using a shash clamp here. The shash clamp is there, is used as a holding uh, equipment or whenever you are using a hacksaw to cut a wire, uh, uh, to cut the pipe, you can use a shash clamp uh, to hold. Uh, making cutting easier. Then we have the stock and die. The stock and die is the one which is used to apply the threads in the pipe. And therefore, whenever you are asked uh, what is the purpose of a stock die, uh, it is normally used uh, to make uh, threads in the pipe. But commonly, uh, the, those people who normally uh, fix the pipes, they normally call it uh, just a, a, a die. Then we have uh, uh, we have um, the reasons why uh, as to why the plumbing tools and uh, equipment should be maintained. And the first one is to reduce the cost of replacement. And the second one to make uh, the tools durable, to make the tools durable. And therefore the tools will uh, serve you for a long period of time. And therefore you will not incur a lot, a high cost of replacement. Then the third one, avoid the tool uh, from injuring the user. And finally, the, to increase the efficiency. Those are the reasons why uh, you should maintain the plumbing tools and equipment. Then we have uh, the activities of today. Uh, work, we have number one, uh, in form of question number one, list any four types of plumbing tools and equipment. The second question, state any three reasons for carrying out, uh, uh, for caring and maintenance of plumbing tools and equipment. Then lastly, mention any two equipment used uh, to hold work while cutting pipes using a hacksaw. 
Then for reference, you can refer from secondary agriculture student book one, and the uh, the, the the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. Uh, for more information, you can reach us through the following addresses. The first address is through the SMS using the number which is well displayed for you there. Then you can use the second uh, platform that is the YouTube at Erim TV. And the third is through the Facebook uh, platform at Elimu T uh, TV. And finally, you can use the Twitter where you can reach us, uh, you can tweet us at TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Uh, please stay tuned. Uh, till next lesson, bye bye.